So it's our last night in Dinaral. It was fantastic. Last happy hour at the Island Bar with Craig and Jenny Edwards from Panashkat and their lovely guests from New Zealand. So our time in Fiji has come to a close. We absolutely loved sailing back down from Savu Savu with the trade winds on our back and we got to use our new asymmetric spinnaker from Willis Sails Kiri Kiri and our new carbon fibre pole, thanks Grant Jenkins from Kiwi Rigging. So Richie cleared us out with customs at 6am in the morning. The sun came up and we cast our lines off the Dinaral Marina for the last time. Thanks Sales Restaurant for the yummy meals we've had there. We had lots of fun, lots of fun in Dinaral. Then we got our big surprise. Craig and Jenny came out on their, on their tender, their OC tender made by Russell and Karen Carline in Opu in New Zealand. And they took some movies. Thanks guys, that was really cool to have that as we left port. So we're heading out through the Navula Passage. There's reef on both sides and you can see the, the surf breaking the mains up. The ships come up from Lautoka. It was following us, well, way back, and now of course it's it's overtaking us as we go through the passage. It's one of the better looking ones that we've seen. in the shadow of Fiji, so not too strong a winds. What are you up to, Richie? Well, just, just pulled the headsail out. There's a bit of a trick, there's a bottle up there. And it is. It doesn't look like another camera, but it is a little, little bit rough, probably two metres swell, in a moderate sea, but it's chilling out a little bit. So we've
two wave tracks. We've got 15 degrees apart. We've had booby birds and Jesus birds and little flying fish all the way on this trip and anyway one of the boobies decided that he wanted to land up on our Windex and we yelled at him, blew whistles, banged pots but he still landed on the Windex and broke it so that was a bit of an, a nuisance and then he flew off and he came back and settled himself on the solar panels for the night. So he did lots of poop down the back, goodness knows how he managed to balance there because it was pretty rocky and then in the morning he was loath to wake up and go but finally he did fly off and yeah, we didn't have him landing the following night. But that night we had a little Jesus bird that hopped up on the bimini and just snuggled down and, and went to sleep and was gone by morning. and it's my second song. Hopefully you can hear it out here because I'm competing with the water and um, Richie's being the photographer which is really cool. It's to the tune of a hakama or stupid cupid and I have to look at my words a bit too. We left from Fiji on August the 3rd. We raised the sails and soared along like a bird. We used the wind to pull them out wing and wing We read our books and ate all kinds of yummy things Sheets, blocks, tacks and clues We're on our way to Vanuatu We spent the night dodging the Chinese boats And sailing round all of their floats A booby bird took out the Windex pole and on the solar panel No sleep, we're salty too We're trucking on towards Vanuatu Last day is here now and we're on the home run It can be boring but the flying fish are fun The isolation is as quiet as it gets With great sunrises and some funky sunsets Way spray wind and sun too we've nearly made it to Vanuatu Woohoo! <laughs> Good evening, Golf Harbour. Uh, Moana Row, we have good copy. Um, how are you copy over? I've got good copy on you. It seems to be pretty good at the moment, so uh, we'll long may it stay that way. <laughs> so you seem to have uh, got through the, uh, um, the mob of the Chinese AIS that uses only one between you and uh, uh, Port Vila, so go ahead, over. Yeah, Romeo, uh, our position at this time is uh, 17.42 south, 1.69.48 east. The course is 2.70 magnetic and speed is 6 decimal 5 knots, over. Six and a half knots, and uh, you've at least got some wind. Uh, what are your conditions, 
Uh, we have an east south easterly uh, 10 to 15 knots, uh, swells out of the south east to 1 decimal 5. We've got 3 eighths cloud cover and the barometer is uh, 1011. Our copy? Uh, yeah, we make a good speed. We'll probably um, arrive, I'd say, early in the morning um, off the uh, waypoint, which is just off the island, then proceed to the quarantine dock in the morning. That'll be Sunday morning, over. Yeah, so uh, I talked to Andrew this morning. He, um, he hasn't got back to Port Macquarie yet, so he's still out on Hudson Bay. So I imagine that by now they'll have the, the buoys back in action, but uh, have you been into Port Vila before? Oh, when I was in short pants uh, back in 1981, so I'm sure it's changed, but we have friends who have uh, arrived last week and they put their boat on a buoy out there, uh, so I think it is all back in action, isn't it? So this is where we're hanging out, Mo's out there on uh, mooring ball, just by the bush, it's really beautiful, just straight along from a resort called Eriki, which is a casino and it, and it runs all the way along there with all its breweries. And it's pretty cool, we can go there and use the pool and that's the harbour where you come in and then yeah this is the yacht World Marina so there's other boats here and then there's um, yeah just a really cool just a really cool area to hang out but it's not ready yet like it's not going to be opening until 25th of August because they all thought that they were actually opening in September for the boats they thought it was just planes on the 1st of July but that sort of changed yeah so it's a really cool little place with just showers and toilets and a nice little dinghy locker or dinghy pontoon here and then the blue the blue wharf we can go get water and um, also yeah they can bring us fuel to there. Richie's brother Steve and his wife Cherie came over from New Zealand it was awesome with their friends Stacey and Rob we went to Iroriki Island which is by Vela and had a few drinks by this beautiful pool and then we also hung out with them a bit at um, Breakers Resort which was where they were staying had a few swims and enjoyed happy hour and yet another swimming pool and just basically had a ball. It was pretty cool to see some um, family because you obviously miss them while you're gone. They hired a car and Steve featuring here doing his bomb on his beautiful dive at a lagoon they visited and then we all ate at the market and just hung out. So when they left on the plane for New Zealand, we left Vila and started um, travelling north through Vanuatu. While we were in Vila, we walked up to this huge Chinese commissioner's building, uh, which was given to the Vanuatu people and then taken back because it wasn't maintained well enough. It was surrounded by a huge solar farm and the building itself was magnificent inside but hopefully it'll get used now that COVID is um, changing a bit here. Outside there were vehicles that looked like they'd been parked there for many years. This one even had a, a tree growing out the front grill so they looked really really as if they'd been there for a few years. We headed up to the art gallery and the museum and the art gallery was pretty funky with traditional artworks and some contemporary stuff. There were some carvings. There wasn't a lot there but what they had was a nice cross section and we enjoyed having a look.
the roofs were all thatched, I think Pandana, they were pretty spectacular. After that we ended up walking and then catching a, a bus to a local resort called Poppy's Resort down the other side of, of the hill. Very nice place, uh, very well done to have got open after Covid. Just so tranquil, uh, we'd recommend it, had beautiful swimming pools and beautiful food and we just enjoyed a pizza and some beer there. So I'm walking into town now. That's right hand drive. I'm in the some of the vans have a B on the front of them and they're bus vans and you can just jump on board and pay a dollar fifty. Yeah, get a ride. There's some really cool sculptures. So it's a pretty busy main street. And there's, some, there's a lot of Rastafarian influence. I mean the flags, the Rasta colours and yeah a lot of the people have Rasta clothing which is really interesting. Pretty cool. Oh Rich will be pleased. Pies. Roasted chicken wing pies and mince pie. There you go. Cool. So, what are you up to there? And, and you said that it's pandana. Yeah. And then coconut for the. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, you have hats. There are hats as well. Oh my gosh. And how long to take to make one? <laughs> how many hours? Oh, many. Like about uh, one week or two weeks. Yeah. And I've, one of the ladies was showing me about your traditional dresses. Ah, really? Yes, yeah. like this is our traditional dresses, what yeah. we call island dresses that most me Vanuatu's have to wear this. During the special events or occasions that happen in Palos, you can see most of us wearing our um, Oh, okay. So people paint traditional stories. This is the high chief where the artists come from. Oh. Good luck. A sign of power and the sign of peace. Custom dance, especially for ladies from Tana. So yeah, what's your name? My name is Katie. So Katie did this beautiful, these beautiful sarongs, gorgeous colours. Awesome. Obviously this is the Fijian word for Vanuatu, this is the Vanuatu word for welcome. This is the market. Yeah, it's a big building and there's just so many fruit sellers, beautifully done. Like everything, like look at them piled up and then there's like beautiful baskets that have got the, the bananas and baskets and all the carp, saba, all the carp, all beautifully presented. Get a coconut. Coconut. Super cool. This is a beautiful presentation. Oh, yellow tomatoes. They're really beautiful. Look, over here, this is the cilantro. It's like cilantro. The eater, the leaves. Yeah, because the rest is just mint. And the hits of chocos. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Lots and lots of green for boys, so we like to have cucumbers. Wow. Also outside the market, the street was full of flowers, all these beautiful birds of paradise and, and other plants. It was really gorgeous. So we've had fun in Vila and we've had a little bit of rain. And we're looking forward to seeing the rest of Vanuatu and coming back here for another visit later in our trip.